Martin Truex trying for his first Phoenix win. He has two seconds at this racetrack. Has not visited Victory Lane. And he would be our sport's fifth different winner in uh, what sure could well be the best season ever. Harvick getting a little antsy. Was looking to the low side. Nothing there against Kyle Larson. Yeah, you could see Larson struggle with the rear grip of that car. You know, every time he tries to get in the, the throttle and get some speed off the corner, the back end steps out. And that, guys, once you see that, you pounce on it. You know, if you're um, Harvick, you see that happen, and you just try to get more and more aggressive because that's only going to force the issue of that car getting looser as Harvick goes by for that fifth, uh, sixth spot. There's the look from our uh, Hunt Brothers pizza cam. And now Harvick up into the top half dozen. Next Sunday, the best season ever rolls into Atlanta. The Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. Race day coverage at 1 Eastern on FS1. Then switch over to Fox for the pre-race and the green flag 230. Or catch it all on the Fox Sports app. Atlanta next Sunday. Really looking forward to going to Atlanta, Jeff. One of my favorite racetracks for sure. Old wore out surface, slip and sliding around. Hang on to the old I girl. was going to say, well, I know we're going to the dirt, dirt track in a couple weeks at Bristol, but we're going to have us a 190 mile dirt track <laughs> next week. That's <laughs> what it feels Atlanta. like. Joey Logano, a second and a half back with four to go. Here's Martin Truex, spotter Drew Herring, crew chief James Small. So you're Martin Truex Jr. You know your car is good, but you're looking in your mirror. Three you're watching. Three more here. You hear them talking about how many laps to go, but every time you come off the corner and you get on that straightaway, you're looking in your mirror. What did that did that driver gain? Did I gain on them? If they gain, you immediately say, tell me where they're running. This eerie silence, though, as a leader, you know, counting down these laps, especially when they get into the single digits, man, you know, you heard that spotter three to go, two to go, and then finally that last lap, when you want to get to that last lap, you it's almost like it's your fastest lap of the race because you're trying to get around to that white flag to solidify this race win. But also just trying to make sure you're doing all your things, keep off of the brake pedal as much as you can, don't squirt the gas. Just be super smooth. And pray no caution comes no out. No caution, no caution, no caution. Eighth place, Christopher Bell makes the pass. Byron crosses him back over. White flag, one lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Still side by side for eighth. DJ McLeod pulls aside for Martin Truex, who has a 1.8 second lead on Joey Logano. Martin Truex Jr. cruising to his 28th career wing in the NASCAR Cup Series. Truex wins Phoenix. And that ties him for 28th on the all-time list with Carl Edwards and 1960 champion Rex White. William Byron held off Christopher Bell in that battle for eighth spot. Her chief James Small is fired up for that win. 24 cars finish on the lead lap. Back to Justin Haley. Hey, man. Way to go. Well, Jeff, I think I know who I picked. Who'd you pick there? Yeah. <laughs> we get